Comes from a movie, uh, Can't Hardly Wait, played by a, a one Peter Fancinelli, Mike fucking Dexter. Uh, <laughs> now, I, I toyed around with this a little bit because um, it's douche, douchebag versus dick. And it's kind of one of those things, all fingers are thumbs, but not all fingers. All douchebags are dicks, but all are all dicks douchebags or assholes. Uh, I just kind of feel like I'm getting into a... Uh, uh, um, <laughs> That was actually the uh, the main theme of getting the shaft. That's right. <laughs> is that right? Yes, it's terrible. Kind of feel like a, a Team America thing going on here, but yeah. uh, obviously uh, the love interest of Jennifer Love Hewitt, who is everybody's love interest uh, between the ages of forty and what thirty four, likely um, in, in in this day and age. Um, one of my favorite lines is when he gets exposed and is getting laughed at. He tells the uh, he tells everyone at the party that I'll, I'll kick everyone's ass here, and they, and they continue to laugh at him. Uh, you know, tight tight shirt, going nowhere. Ends up talking to um, uh, what, what, what's the Trip uh, McNeely? Jerry, Jerry, yeah, Jerry O'Connell. Jerry O'Connell. Uh, yeah, and it's supposed to be Trip, kind of Trip McNeely. Trip McNeely. <laughs> Trip McNeely. That's right. Man, all these girls at this party talk about you. Really? What, are they here? Um, uh, it, but. When I was thinking about assholes, you know, he, he and he looks like Sidney Crosby, that apparently uh, goes a long way for being an asshole. I'm, 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 um, I'm, I'm proud of that pick. I'm happy with that one. Alan or Adam, that was one of your uh, favorite movies of all time, top fifty, if oh, I recall. It, it was, and I actually watched it within the last month. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, of all those teen, I had a serious girlfriend at that time, so I had to watch all those teen movies, and that was definitely my favorite one of. Can't hardly wait. Um, you know, that whole uh, Coyote Ugly, uh, I don't know, all the all this junk. But the, the whole, but there was there was a lot of great moments in that movie. And Mike Dexter uh, could certainly qualify. I think he's too dumb to be a great movie. He's almost like so dumb that I couldn't put him on the list. Because I feel like the asshole, to me, has to have a little bit of slyness or something. He's just a complete... Right, fucking dipshit. <laughs> I think, but there, I do, I do like that pick. Though. I, I, like I think there is in you, there is a certain awareness to your assholeness that qualifies you. You know, Mike, he's too dumb to realize he's an asshole. He just thinks he's really cool. Whereas right. someone like a water pack knows he's an asshole, but and is aware of it, but he doesn't care because that's who he is, and he accepts it, he embraces it. I understand. I, I could get down with that, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sticking with it. I have no choice because it's, it's, on, it's on the list. It's on the scroll.